Our story begins on an ordinary day, when we find our hero, young Melfin the Magic Scout, about to embark on a quest rather extraordinary. She will face spooky forests and sail treacherous seas, and soon discover that choosing between right and wrong is not as simple as it seems. Today, the Magic Scouts have a special challenge. They must journey all the way to Mount Marl. And the first to reach its peak will be awarded five badges, plus a super cool shiny trophy that's really awesome and stuff. And so begins Melfin's quest. First, the scouts must find their way through Fang Forest. Oh dear, this sprite looks sad. She's lost her family. What a shame. Oh well, mountains to climb, destinies to fulfil. Melfin has a decision to make. When making a decision, it's important to stop and think about the consequences. A consequence is something that happens as a result of an action. Consequences affect you and also the people and world around you. Hmm, Melfa needs to think hard. She knows that the poor sprite is scared and alone. But if she helps the sprite, she might not get to the mountain first. What do you think is the right thing to do? On her way to the caves of West Wedgie, Melfin stumbles across a rather dashing hat. Ah, who goes there? Someone or some thing is quite upset. Ah, he's lost something. His hat, his favorite hat. That would be upsetting. Melfin, could it be the hat you found is the one this troll has lost? What are you going to do? Admit you found the hat and return it to the owner. He'll be happy and you'll be on your way. Or pretend you didn't find the hat and continue on your quest. What do you think is the right thing to do? Now journey forth, brave Melfin. Over the ocean and up to Mount Marl you go. Oh, now what is it? Gary is offering to take Melfin over the ocean in his hot air balloon. It might not be fair to the other scouts, <laughs> but it'll get her there in a jiff. That trophy will be Melfin's in no time. Melfin knows that everyone else is getting to the mountain by sailing across the ocean. She wonders how they'd feel if they knew she'd cheated and taken a shortcut. What do you think is the right thing to do? Nothing quite like the open seas. Wind in your hair, fresh air, stinking garbage. Oh my, would you look at all this stinking garbage? What a mess. The poor fish. Imagine if someone threw away all their rubbish into your home. Maybe Melfin should clean up the rubbish. Then everyone can enjoy the ocean, including the fish. But if she stops to clean, 
she won't be able to catch up and win the trophy. What do you think is the right thing to do? Finally, Melfin has made it to the mighty mountain. She just needs to climb to the top. Oh, ah. Uh. Rico has already won the challenge and the trophy. Melfin was too late. And although Melfin didn't win the trophy, for some reason she doesn't feel too bad about it. She actually feels pretty good. She thinks back on her actions and all the positive consequences that followed. Without even noticing, she earned herself a few more badges for being caring, honest, fair, and helpful. Can you think of a choice you've made that felt like the right thing to do? What were the consequences?